Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical circles uh, inscribed in a triangle as you can see in this diagram. And moreover, the radius of each circle is 8 units and they are uh, tangent to each other as you can see. And now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And as we can see that all these circles are tangent to the sides of uh, this uh, given triangle. So therefore we conclude that this is an equilateral triangle. That means this side equal to this side equals to this side. And since this is an equilateral triangle, so therefore all of uh, these angles are going to be 60 degrees each and now let's recall two tangent theorem according to this theorem if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point then they are congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram these two line segments they are congruent so therefore in our case uh, this line segment is congruent to this line segment that means this uh, side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length and now let's recall the circle theorem the angle between the radius and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram here we have uh, this uh, radius and the tangent and their angle is 90 degrees so therefore in our case uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well since uh, these are two radii and these are our tangent lines and here's our much nicer looking diagram now let's focus on these two triangles this triangle and this triangle as well and now we can see that these are the two radii of equal length and these side lengths are equal as well and moreover this side is in common and this is a 90 degree angle therefore we conclude that these two right triangles are congruent and we can conclude that this angle is equal to this angle if this whole angle is 60 degrees so this angle has got to be 30 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle this is a 90 degrees angle this is 30 degrees so this angle has got to be 60 degrees so therefore this is our 30 60 90 special triangle and now let's recall this 30 60 90 triangle and as we can see that this is our smallest side and this is our largest side and uh, this side is twice as of this side and this third side is a times square root of uh, 3 if I call this side 8 units this is going to become 16 and this is going to become 8 times square root of 3. Now let's focus on this uh, our triangle. This is our smallest side. This is our largest side and our radius is 8. So our this third side has got to be 8 times square root of 3. So therefore our this side length turns out to be 8 times square root of 3. And now let's look at this diagram. We know that these are the radii. This is 8 and this is 8. So the total distance is going to be 16. So therefore this distance has got to be 16 units so therefore this side length is going to be 16 and we know that this side length equal to this side length if this is 8 times square root of 3 this has got to be 8 times square root of 3 as well so thus the total side length of this equilateral triangle is going to be we are going to add these three 
numbers together. So the length L is going to be 8 times square root of 3 plus 16 plus 8 times square root of 3. So if we add these combined like terms, we can get 16 plus 16 times square root of 3. So thus our this side length turns out to be 16 plus 16 times square root of 3. And since we are dealing with an equilateral triangle, so therefore all of them have the same side length. Let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this triangle by just adding all three sides together. And here I have added all these side lengths. And let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So the perimeter turns out to be 48 plus 48 times square root of 3. So thus the perimeter of this triangle turns out to be 48 plus 48 times square root of 3 unit or in terms of decimal this is approximately equal to 131.14 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.